Hello, welcome back to the Hardcore Iron Man series. I don't know what it is about the Hardcore Iron Man, but there's a lot of people who kind of walk up to me and I don't know if they're role playing, but it's kind of funny and interesting to see what they say. And this guy kind of went on a whole giant spiel and just left. I don't know what he was doing. So we're still here fishing for a little bit longer. Um, I was just, my recording cut out, so I was gonna go through my chat log of what this guy was saying. It's kind of interesting. It's kind of funny. I don't know if he's role playing, I don't know what he's doing, but he congratulates us for playing the game as is meant to be, which I like. I appreciate it, dude. We're about to get 40 fishing and this guy rolls up and he's like, let's go play some pinball. So as soon as we get 40 fishing, voila, we will go play some pinball. Let's go buddy. Let's go play your little pinball game. We're back from pinball. We got five cut rubies. I'll take it. Ended up going to Catherby. I wanted to cook all the fish that I caught get some cooking levels because we're gonna need it for cooking lobsters and we're about to hit 43 cooking there's no big milestone for it oh look we can cook bass it's whatever I'm not gonna be fishing bass but it just helps us a little bit more with the burning of the lobsters that we're gonna be cooking for a little bit we also didn't burn too many but So we're back at Wintertot real quick. We're here to finish up for the time being. I just wanted to hit 85 because I figured that was a decent milestone. It's not even close to being halfway. I mean, look, it's three and a half, three and a quarter million XP. And there, 85 fire making. You can use the infernal axe, whatever, it doesn't matter. But I feel like this is enough Wintertot for a bit. I've spent a lot of time here. A lot of time that I feel I could be doing other things productive. Uh, I just don't like wasting my time doing fire making. And this is our final loot tab from 85 fire making. 1.8 million, which isn't bad. We got a lot of herbs, got a lot of seeds. We got 200k cash stack. And yeah, it's not bad. It's pretty nice. I wanted to go make some arrows again. I really like the benefits of the steel arrows. Uh, there's 39 smithing. It's whatever. Steel war hammers. But we're making a whole bunch of the arrowheads. So we can go train ranging. It's one of the skills that I really want to get up high enough. Just because it enables us to do so many bosses, save spots for Slayer. And then in general, it makes a lot of money and it's very profitable once you get past the early game. Decided to continue smithing. I had a whole bunch of gold ore from Wintertot. So we're back here in Edgeville. It's closest furnace if you didn't know for everything. But we're just gonna smith all this gold and then move on. Also, I had a whole bunch of gems from Wintertot that I wanted to cut. So we got emeralds, sapphires, and we cannot cut rubies yet. I am making my magic amulet. So we made the amulet unstrung. This is our first clue scroll. It's a beginner clue scroll. And it's garbage it's absolutely garbage nature runes is fine but cabbage whatever 
training magic a little bit again. Uh, I had some mine runes and air runes I wanted to burn through. And the big bones kind of help for the prayer level. I'm going to start saving up a couple. We're going to start saving up some of the big bones for the ectofunctus later on, you know. Uh, with the prayer training comes the Restless Ghost quest, uh, something I should have done a lot sooner. I totally just forgot about it and figured let's go do it now. So uh, go speak amulet which we'll need for later and we got 16 prayer from that. I think we were at like 11 before this. So uh, yeah, that's all the stats are doing. We're doing pretty good. Finishing our second clue scroll. And 15 air runes. Garbage. I, I guess you can't expect too much. Um, maybe if we got lucky, you know, 1 in 200 chance, whatever. Here in Lumbridge, we're going to make a ball of wool, and then we're going to use the sapphire amulet on it to make a sapphire amulet. And then we're going to enchant it, and then now we have our magic amulet which is amazing. These little boosts in power, you know, plus one, plus two damage and whatnot, I feel is amazing. Most, most people just kind of bat an eye at it and don't care. Completed Plague City. I wanted to get all the Ardoin easy requirements done so I can get the cloak teleport. But now we have Plague City done and we have the teleport for Ardoin unlocked. We're here turning in our biohazard quest. The king, he lies to us. He lies to us about a lot of stuff, so we don't trust him. But West Ardoin is unlocked. We can now go there. We can go trade our cat whenever we start doing that stuff to get the death runes. I've never been here. This has been on a lot of people's videos where they train on ogres, and now we've unlocked it, yay. I had a whole bunch of herbs left over, because so, I'm basically just going through all the supplies we got through Winter Tot and just burning through them as much as I can to get as much experience now, instead of just sitting on them. But I had to go kill unicorns for a little bit. We used magic just to go continue training the magic, but now we're grinding the horns down. Then we are going to be finishing our potions. There's 20 herb lore. We can all clean Harlanders. I have never been one for the anti-poison potions, but there's a lot of stuff in this game that poisons us, and we don't have a lot of health, so it could kill us, and it absolutely comes in handy. We completed the rune mysteries, because I wanted to go burn through some of the pure essence we got. This is our first trip at the air altar to make some air runes. We're going to be here for a little bit, we're going to burn through about a thousand of the pure essence just to get some rune crafting levels and some air rune. This is our final run here, making air runes. We got 18 rune crafting from about a thousand pure essence. I only did air runes. I don't know if that's a waste, I don't really care. I use a lot of the air runes, so I figured this would be the most beneficial for right now. Something about this cutscene, you don't see a lot of people using the log raft to go up and down, well, to go up, you know, to go up the Lumbridge River. But it's just, it's kind of nice. They put these little cutscenes in the game. Trying to get our first Slayer task, and apparently I don't have the Slayer level for this guy. So we're gonna go get an easier Slayer task. It's decided to go to Turrell. I don't have Priest and Peril unlocked yet, which is whatever, we'll get to that eventually. But he wants us to go kill some Ice Fiends, which I've never killed before. This is what I like about Slayer is you go out and especially on the early game, you kill a bunch of stuff that you normally don't see or ever interact with. Finishing up our Slayer task, we're level 10, which is nice. And here starts the Slayer grind. This is our very first Slayer task with many more to come and a couple resets. We're continuing the Slayer grind. Um, 
We're about level 41 and a half. Um, I wanted to get this milestone done. This is 40 attack, which unlocks the rune equipment for us. I don't know if we'll get it anytime soon, but at least it's unlocked. That's a big milestone early game. It's a big thing. Oh, we also have 30 Slayer. So two big milestones in one. Nice. I decided to do the Cook's Assistant quest because I needed to use the range here for the Lumbridge Diary. So we're just going to knock this out real quick. I magically had all the materials I need. And done. We also want to get, was it 32? 31 quest points to enter the Champions Guild. So that's two birds with one stone. I wanted to test out the ranging here, see how much XP we can get. We have a lot of arrows to go through. So I figured might as well sit here, burn through a couple arrows, test the XP, test the waters. I don't know if we have enough ranging levels to do this effectively. We got 2000 ranging XP, which is kind of, kind of garbage. We also don't have a cannon and we don't have gear. So our accuracy is complete garbage. Yeah, that didn't really work out too well. So we were back here in Lumbridge. We're killing cows. I'm going to be collecting their leather because I think I can upgrade our gear with the studded, the studs, whatever they are. You use a steel bar on an anvil. You can make studs and you can make your studded body and your studded legs. And I think you can make a coif too at some point. Yeah, so we're sitting here looking at it, studded, do a coif, we can do leather shields. Uh, when we unlock other stuff, we can get the Avas, we can get a whole bunch of stuff unlocked. The green dehyde, blue dehyde, obviously. I think we'll go, we're going to go with the uh, green dehyde and we won't be able to upgrade it past that till we unlock the black dehyde through either clue scrolls or if I do the archaeologist on Fossil Island, which will be a chore if we don't die. We're here. We are going to try and make a coif, which we can't. We need 38 crafting. Oh boy. Um, make our legs. Okay, we can make our legs. We're gonna make our leather body. Boom, okay. We're gonna make some van braces. We're just making gear and we're gonna go to Varrock and we are going to go upgrade this gear. We're here making the studs for the armor. Um, I think I can get away with three of them. I don't know if I can do the van braces. I need 44 crafting. What about the body? 41. I don't know why you need more crafting for the legs and not the body, but whatever. I didn't have enough enthusiasm to go do crafting, so I just decided to go to the stronghold of security. There is a little room here with the wolves and the uh, oxes or whatever these guys are, but they have low defense and we'll be training here for a little bit. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, consider subscribing and hitting that like button. Thank you.